Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to part two. Um, I know we were in the middle of kind of giving a, a bit of a preview of a little ASDF parody before, but then my internet decided to take like one of the weirdest shits ever. It went down for a while. Then it came back up, but it would only let me use Skype and things like that. Nothing web-based would resolve at all. I mean, I could get into the web interface from my router and everything, but nothing else would resolve, and it was really weird, and I had to keep, like, you know, shutting down my modem and router for a while, bringing it back up, messing with things. Finally, everything kicked back into gear. Um, Richard's getting some food, and you've only got, like, 30 minutes left mm -hmm. anyway. So, you know, Daniel's over there just getting a little pussy. He's got his cat over there with him. Um, well, oh, had no. you, we left my lap. <laughs> oh, the pussy was in your lap. You were you were stroking, was. The, stroking the pussy and everything. You know, kind of doing, looking for that little bit of you know public action there with the getting some pussy on cam. Um, oh, there's there's pussy on cam. Say hello, Oreo. Yeah, I've got um, pumpkin ball, fluffy, and sandy. We actually not, do not directly with me there elsewhere at the moment so i'm just curious what did you actually have to do to get your router and everything or your in your interwebs back functioning well all i did like i just said is i just you know shut it off for a bit turned it back on kept repeating the process until eventually just decided to click in so anyway when i finally came back in although the recording had completely stopped by this time and youtube saying fuck you i'm not going to continue it um, and right before you had to leave, <clears throat> you were talking about something about um, DeviantArt and Amazon.com and, uh, and something like that. Like, I, I only, like, got part of it. Like, what Oh, were you oh yeah, that conversation. It, it, was, it, it was quite funny when you dropped out and General Tate and I were just like, okay, D Dave's gone. Uh. <laughs> uh, that was funny. Uh, so what we were talking about is I... I threw out a suggestion that, and I've actually had this on my mind for quite a while, uh, is some sort of program uh, to uh, you, you have, I'm sure you've encountered this before, is when people will threaten uh, their own lives for some reason um, or another over the web, whether it be DeviantArt, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. Um, I just started taking a computer science course this year, and the the hidden reason behind that one was to uh, that class was to um, uh, to actually start learning code to write a program or virus or worm that is able to go through DeviantArt, go through their um, or this was the plan. Uh, go to go through DeviantArt, find the persons uh, persons who uh, sent out the uh, that journal or deviation or status update, uh, and ping their location. Now, there's two issues with that. One is um, because DeviantArt just DeviantArt used to own its own ser own and maintain its own servers, and it was really funny is their tech their one of their IT guys was named is Sasha and he was Russian uh, <laughs> referencing the earlier thing we were doing um, um, and uh, but now they moved out of that and right now the uh, now a days they are running off of Amazon web services so Amazon it it's not <coughs> It's not like Amazon bought DeviantArt. Like, um, it's just that DeviantArt, I guess, got tired of running its own servers because there were so many issues. You can imagine having to run uh, or keep um, keep at least five hundred machines running properly. Um, that would be hell. Um, but anyway. Um, they bought some they um so now they run on amazon web services um 
So there comes the issue where um, if you actually want to ping somebody's location, first you have to get through DeviantArt's website, and then you have to go into Amazon. Then you have to get an admin, um, get through the get like an admin password and admin access. Then find out who was uh, where, which IP address sent it out, and then you have to figure out which computer or phone or tablet or desktop on that IP address sent out mm, the... Um, I think the method to your madness that you are going with this is make a program that could track that and send that information off to local authorities, but because they did this little switch, that now makes that much harder to do. Yes, it's... It, it, the thing is, it's like, Okay, if you were just hacking through DeviantArt servers, it's like, okay, it's illegal. And then when you're doing it to DeviantArt and then Amazon, then you're, like, doubling up the illegality. <laughs> Especially if it's Amazon. It's like, you don't want to get in trouble with it. Yeah, well then, I guess the only thing that you'd be able to do is um, basically... Um, if you were a good enough coder and could approach Amazon, just be like, look, I, I want to make this program that, you know, scans through and looks for, you know, suicide posts and, you know, gets the IP in information and then, you know, emails that to whatever authorities are local to that IP with a direct link to the, you know, suicide thing so that the local authorities could then, you know, handle it appropriately. And then Amazon might go, well, if you're willing to code that, then okay, we can let you do that. I think it would be not only just Amazon, I would have to go, because Microsoft does web service hosting, you'd have to go to them, you'd have to go to DeviantArt. If you were doing that on other social media websites, you have to go to like Twitter, Facebook. Of course, uh, you'd, have to, well, you'd have to start somewhere. Yeah, it would. If you started with Amazon and they're like, okay, sure, you could do that, then mm -hmm. you've got you set a precedence and then you could go to other places and go, well, Amazon let me do that. And here's how it's been working out for us so far. Would it be, mm -hmm. would you like to hook into this system as well? And if so, how would you like us to do that? Because obviously hacking you is illegal, so you have to give us a way in. Yeah, that's the, and then uh, General Tate when he when he and I were talking before was um, uh, he said now the only issue with that is if someone with say um, someone on the dark web gets a hold of that source code um, and I don't it was uh, I forget which website he was referencing um, he said if somebody on that website got a hold of that source code you have to um you have a major crisis on your hands because then people are able to ping others locations based um, on just about anything mm -hmm. anything any other criteria you want to stick in there yeah um the here's, here's the thing though with with code like that, that sort of stuff probably already exists on the dark web for nefarious purposes anyway. Because, I mean, obviously, if you could make something like that, then some much better and much more creepy coder probably already made exactly what you're worrying about them making. And they probably had that for, like, the last 20 years now. So... You can pull the same trick on them. You can say, hey, can I have... You can ask them, hey, do you have this type of code? And uh, they can... Um, uh, you can ask them for that. Um, uh, the issue is it's dealing with shady people. Um, My point is, is that if you can think of it now somebody else has already thought of it probably 15, 20 years ago mm -hmm. and he's been doing it ever since so you don't have to worry about that getting compromised because it was compromised before you were born so you don't have to worry oh, about yes. it. Now you're using a more sort of code for a positive purpose. 
Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, now the issue is, is uh, I would definitely want to avoid publicity with this. Yeah. Um, it's not that I don't. It's not that I hate being a public figure. It's not that I hate talking with people, or public speaking, but it's this issue that you have all these, um, or, um, uh, you have all these people that. I'm just going to say, uh, we'll just take conservative Republicans, for instance, and I know this wouldn't be the only group of people, but it'd be a fairly um, surefire shot. The um, Demikins of the Republicrats? Uh, <laughs> anyone, really. Um, I like to bash on the Republicans because it's a lot more fun. Um, or it's funny. Um, well, I think it's two wings, one bird. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> they call uh, it the right wing and the left wing. Let's put the, let's put the analogy together. You got to figure it's one bird going like this, and the wings are all pretending to fight with each other when really it's just controlled opposition. It's like mm -hmm. WWE wrestling. Doesn't matter whether or not Stone Cold or The Rock wins because it's Vince McMahon's fucking company. Either way. Exactly. Well. um so the, <clears throat> some of the, let's just say more, I'm not even going to reference uh, the political parties or anything like that anymore. It would be people who have uh, the improper idea about, or not improper, what am I saying? I sound, I sound like a moron. In other uh, words, people who like to blame the tools for everything instead of encouraging people to take responsibility for their actions and encouraging critical thinking and encouraging common sense instead of encouraging that they're like ban everything because everything's bad and we should have a nanny state do everything for us and we shouldn't actually have any tools because we might hurt ourselves or others so instead of teaching people how to actually do things properly Let's let's ban forks. Let's ban knives. Let's ban matches. Let's ban guns. Let's ban programs that have a positive purpose, but some people might use it negatively, and they probably already are. So all you're doing is banning the positive because the negative people are going to do it anyway. Yeah, I, that's that's like one wing of it, and then the other wing of it I see is um, not banning it, but it's the people who are extraordinarily concerned about. Um, say their own security. Um, and to be completely fair, as you've referenced so many times already, you you you've said that people, if somebody like me who has very very little idea how to code, very um, knows uh, doesn't know exactly the a lot about a lot of operating systems and such. Uh, can think of something like this, then there's probably already something used uh, for nefarious purposes. Um, I think people would look uh, would not look at it that way, but they would look at it as a breach of their security and be ban it, ban it, ban it, but for a different reason. Uh, because they'd be like, oh, I'm scared of being like um, stalked or looked over which to be fair is i guess a valid concern but but also be... a moot concern because there's already people out there with that type of code that are already stalking already looking over already yes nefarious shit so it's like um seeing as that's already there and it's going to be there no matter what and there ain't shit you can do about it what you can do is use that same technology for positive means since it's already be being used ad nauseum for lots and lots of negative nefarious things, whether people realize it or not. So why not use it for positive things? Yeah, it's the same. It's I really can't think of an example off the top of my head, but it would. I feel like it would be something Bill O'Reilly or another conservative, or actually, it doesn't even. It wouldn't even have to be a conservative. It would be anyone. Video would, games it, are evil. They teach kids how to murder. They, we shouldn't have any video games. They're evil, and they teach kids how to murder. And, and yes, video games that are at fault for the for the way society is right now. 
Really? So what version of the Xbox did they have during the 1400s? Please tell me. The Xbox non-existent. <laughs> I, I had I that no, actually no, they, they had the abacus box. Ooh, true. <laughs> that reminds me of another thing. Um, there was a story um about uh like two months ago where uh these two Taiwanese immigrant ha- ta- Taiwanese immigrants uh had a child here, and have you ever heard the term tiger <laughs> mom or tiger dad before? Have you ever heard that? No. Um, it's a reference to, okay, let's say you got an A minus on a test. They would say, oh, that's the same as an F. Sort of like completely downplaying your ability, completely yeah. uh, sort of that. Um, in, in other words, ultimate control freak. Yes. That, that basically understands that the more berated and insecure they can make you feel the more they can manipulate you and thus the more they can manipulate you, the more they can power play you and put, put you under their control and do all sorts of mind games, basically exactly like what corporate controlled government in league with the mainstream does to the entire population of the planet. So exactly. Got, but on know, a much tiger, smaller scale. Tiger, big brother. So, this um this girl she never really had any chances to make friends she would hardly ever go over to her friend's house um she always was doing some extracurricular activity whether it be piano or <clears throat> something else um and in order to not be at home to avoid the tyranny Exact. Uh, that and well, her parents made her do those things. She never had any time to herself. Look at it that way. Yeah. Um, and so what she did is when she she her in like her sophomore year of high school, uh, her grades started slumping, and she was smart enough to print out fake. Um, report cards and tell her parents, oh, I'm still getting A's. Um, while the school was saying, uh, no, you're getting C's and D's and you're failing classes. She did graduate. Um, uh, and then, where did she graduate? Did she gra- drop out of school? I've totally forgotten at this point. Uh, she graduated, I think, and then she faked getting into college um and then she faked that for two years and then her dad found out i think Mm -hmm. and then her dad like i forget it uh and then he did something to her or something like that he basically disowned her uh and then she knew a friend of hers that knew a hitman so she hired a hitman for ten thousand dollars to kill both of her parents. Uh, she, uh, the hitman, hitmen. There were three of them. Killed the mom and severely wounded the father. Which, uh, and the way I tie this back into your point, uh, the point about video games make kids violent. It's like. No, not entirely. If you show that the reason why P- is somebody was asking me why did this person do that, and my answer is always, if you show people one extreme and the other extreme, then, or if you if you never expose somebody to one extreme, they're more likely to go to an extreme. I think maybe the better way to say that is that all humans only operate based on what they know. So if they weren't shown love and compassion and support and all they were ever shown is spite and neglect and contempt and hate and all the negative stuff, then they're probably most likely going to be a negative person and negative people tend to do negative things and when someone is really 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 negative they're probably going to do really 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 negative things yeah it, it's that it's the cause it's like a cause and effect thing but on a very large scale i have never met a single person it's who, a fractal you might say it's on a fractal scale 
Mm-hmm. Everything is kind of symbiotically related to everything else. Mm-hmm. It, it's kind of like how people, if you say that about video games, you like, I hate, I always hate bringing this argument up, but it's like when people will kill in the name of religion. I have nothing against religion, even though I'm, I myself am an atheist. I know there are plenty of churches who do amazing things, and I thank them for that. Uh, it's when I, people. I think there's a difference between religion and spirituality. I, yes. I think that Jesus was spiritual and he preached heavily against religion. Hence his warnings about the scribes and the Pharisees and all their mind games, you know, that he talks about in there. I don't – and look at look at the way modern organized religion is now. It's oh, my God. The same bullshit as back then but on a grander scale. And Jesus was pointing at that going, see those guys? They'll fuck with your head. You might want to stay away from that shit. Which is kind of an ironic statement, considering they're following him, and then it's yeah, and then it's the, a big the, elaborate. These thing spiritual of teachings get hijacked and turned into a religion, and then twisted and mangled and manipulated, and used as population control through fear. Correct, and I always say the worst way to. Uh, the the worst way to control a people and the worst way to control a child or to control anyone, frankly, is through fear. It it never uh, and I'll bring up critical thinking because it never allows that person to have critical thinking skills. It never allows them to do really anything with the mind. Ma- the, the Prussian indoctrination system, which is what our, our excuse me, the Prussian educational system, which is an indoctrination system, which our current system is based off of, and the one who created the Prussian system was also the father of neo-Nazism, which goes back to Hitler's quote, and I quote, the beautiful thing about the totalitarian state is that it forces those <clears throat> um, who fear it to um, to emulate it. Yes. It's, I, it's like... You become, it's, you become what you fight. Exactly. Now, there's a difference between raging against something and, and self-defense. I'm not suggesting anybody bend over and be like, oh, well, I, sh- I shouldn't fight, so I'm just going to, yeah, okay, fuck me. Yeah, I'm not, no, no, I'm not, su- I'm not suggesting submitting to nefarious shit. I'm just saying that when you got that, like, rage that, like, yeah, fuck them, I hate them. Ah, then it's it's like being drunk and on crack and on speed and on everything else all at once. The brain is in fight or flight. It goes to pudding. It can't think rationally, and you just become like a rat animal just attacking whatever, whoever. And, ah, and that's the end result. <laughs> that was a great way of putting it. It, it, it turns to mush. Yeah. Just, not, not recommended. It's just... Ah. It's like getting high, but it's not. It it's like getting high, but it retains all the sucky features. <laughs> yeah, then of course, then of course, there's the fake positive. Like I'm the positive, but shun the dark. If you look at the dark, you give power to it. And I'm like, okay, if you are if you are judging the negative negatively. Then isn't that being negative? <laughs> um, how about looking at the negative as a positive opportunity for positive change? Like, for example, oh, look at that negative mess. This might just be a positive opportunity to clean up the mess, and maybe I'll even learn something in the process. That's a positive outlook, not like, oh, if I acknowledge the mess, I'm giving power to it. No. If you ignore the mess, it's rotting and, and, and developing bacteria and disease and spreading and, and festering and little, you know, dangerous animals are laying their eggs in it and, you know, and God only knows what. It's like if you ignore the roaches in the walls, they don't die. They breed. It's not like, oh, there's a roach. I'm going, uh, uh, no, no, you're not there. You're not there. It's like. No, the roach doesn't poof, disappear. I'm I hate kill that roach. I'm just going to ignore it out of existence. That's what I'm going to do. I'll show that roach. 
It's kind of like my cat when it glares at me. It's like, I'm going to glare you out of existence. It's like, no, you're not. It's the same principle that cats have when they're glaring you down. They're trying to kill. They they want you to die, but you just simply don't. <laughs> it's like being it's like being in a burning building and going. There is no fire. 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 If I see the fire, then I'm giving it power, and it'll burn me. So no, nope, there is no fire. There is no fire. There is no fire. That is one way. Of, that's another great way of putting it. There's no fire. Um, then, that, then what is that slightly orange gas that is protruding from your shirt, sir? Um, great question. It, it, it burns. Really? Have you, have you seen my little deviation that's got the hear no evil, uh, see no evil, speak no evil, but with skeletons? And it says, if you wouldn't drive your car like this, why would you live your life like this? Oh, I think, I, yes, I have seen that one. I have seen that one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> funny. I'm, uh, it, it's, it's always interesting to do that with, like, some of my friends. Because um, my friends are just, shall we say, do not have... Uh, friends like you, Dave. Um, um, so it, it's kind of interesting to see when you say these things. Like, uh, I want. Oh, hello again. Hello. <laughs> hello. And as far as the the image that I was referring to, just so anybody else watching. Um, Knows exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. Oh, and and let me make sure I clicked a little present to everyone. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so, if it is dangerous to drive your car this way, then why would you think it's safe to live your life this way? I completely agree with that. Holy balls! Eleven thousand three hundred ninety-three messages. Holy crap. <laughs> Damn. A blessing and a curse all at once. Yes, it's like popularity, but so many messages. Well, <sighs> I only have like three, 300 and some odd followers. I'm getting kind of close to 400, but not quite there yet. And people ask me, wow, you've been on DeviantArt for 10 years, but you only have that many followers? Why is that? I'm like, well, look at the type of stuff I make. And they're like, Oh, yeah, I see your point. <laughs> I'm the same oh. way. It's like either people like what I post and what I do and they love me for it, or they just totally hate me and don't want anything to do with me. What's really funny with me is, like, people... I have 108 watchers now. I just got another one. Like, I kid you not, five minutes... Uh, let's see. How many minutes ago was it now? Ten minutes ago, I now have uh, 108 watchers. Um, now, here, now, here's the thing: with 108 watchers, guess how many comments I get on, let's say, my writing stuff, which is the stuff I take the most pride in, which is. You know, I, I write something, I'll sit down, it'll take me like three or four hours to type out something and then nothing. It's like, why is it so impossible to get advice? Okay, give me one sec. All right, I, ha I will have to go now. I'm guessing, yes. All right, it was a uh, nice talking to you. You as well. Um, it's it's good that we could at least in a, in a part two, instead of just like all, 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 all internet goes <laughs> internet was like died. Yeah, you don't get an ending. Sorry, watchers, viewers, subscribers. Sorry. Says, Fuck you. No. Now, at least we were able to continue it with a part two and close it off properly so that 
people weren't like, okay, ASDF, and then, hmm? Hmm. Confusing video is confusing. So, we'll talk about this stuff again um, when you can, you know, next year some time. But uh, in the meantime, take care, have fun, and catch you later. I think it's been, uh, Rich can continue this a, a little bit more in your absence and then just kind of bring that to a close. Uh, All right, well, thanks again. Yep, not a problem. Catch you next time. Alrighty, so anything you were going to say about anything, you know, before you, you know, left to get food and whatever else? And my internet went <clears throat> and all the other shit. No, everything I was talking about was uh, when it was off air, but he was talking about interesting software programs with, you know. So we went we know. went over that. He went fully into detail about that because I was asking, what's up with the whole, you were mentioning Amazon. Okay, and you, okay. He okay, went so, into the whole thing. He went fully. Okay, so so I don't have to I don't have to say anything or repeat anything, but I was going to say it's a good idea, except if <clears throat> the only problem is is DA itself is full as we've talked before with an incompetent staff that wouldn't do anything like that because their motive is profit, not actually caring about their users. Yeah. Well, he was expanding the idea to, like, you know, Amazon and, you know, other sites and services, you know, linking into that sort of thing. And, you know, and, and then we just kind of um, moved on from <laughs> from there and just there was just a gradual shifting of topics and talking about, you know, the educational system and critical thinking or the lack there of it in the educational system and you know the going back to the Prussian indoctrination system and Hitler and you know aka uh, Kristen's father and, oh no wait not that Hitler my bad anyway um. <laughs> mm -hmm. but yeah so we were just you know you you popped in where you popped in and here we are so mm -hmm. yeah pretty much <clears throat> well today's been Last couple of weeks have been really interesting. Just kind of, you know, slow, but I've been finding things to do. You know, I've been working around here. I've been looking mainly at job stuff lately. It's just kind of, you know, is what it is. Job market sucks right now. The economy's not good, et cetera, so on and so forth. Well, hey, good opportunity for, you know, uh, getting your YouTube channel together, making, you know, starting to make some money with that. And uh, you also know that sooner rather than later, Millionaire is going to hire you back. So it's all good. It's just kind of an opportunity for you to sort things out and, and take a breathe, breather and have some more ease and flow productivity rather than the hammer and nails kind, if you know what I mean. And he bombed out. <laughs> okay. I guess everyone's having fun with their internet connection today. Fun with internet. Let's see if he comes back. Come back, Mr. Tate. There you are. Welcome back. <laughs> Excuse me. I think you're back. You are back, right? Yeah, there you are. Although I hear nothing. I hear nothing. I hear zero. For reasons unknown, I hear nothing. Absolutely nothing is what I hear. And now he's gone. Oh, now I can hear you. There you are. Welcome back. Yeah, my browser crashed again. Ah. Uh, 
Well, all I'm saying is that this is just an opportunity for you to, you know, have some ease and flow with your productivity and, you know, relax into some YouTube stuff and make some money that way. And uh, inevitably, Millionaire will be hiring you back, I'm sure. They already pretty much said as much. So, you know, it's just an opportunity to show yourself that you can be productive on an ease and flow rather than a, you know, boot up the head sort of, you know. Yeah. Hell, I might as well do that. I've been productive with a lot of other stuff. I might as well look in my YouTube and. Yeah, you got that badass internet connection now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no reason why I shouldn't. Exactly. Like, but. For meantime, you know, I just want to find something at some point. It was interesting. My mother called me earlier on the phone, uh -huh. and apparently, some one of her coworkers' husbands or whatever needed help with a roof or something. But <laughs> they said that he could call me back, and he hasn't called me back yet at all. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's not urgent. Maybe it's just something to where they're replacing something or doing general construction, and it's something that might take a week to complete. So it's not like it's, oh, shit, drop everything and help now, or the roof is going to catch fire, or, you know, whatever. Because mm -hmm. I know a lot of those construction jobs can be days and days and days, sometimes longer. <laughs> I think it's just somebody working on their house. I don't think it's construction. Well, by construction, I just mean the type of job. Oh, it's just, uh, I guess the guy's working on shingles on his roof or whatever, and you need somebody to help, you know, peel the shingles off and stuff. Exactly. In Chicago, that's a part of the classification of construction work. Mm. Roof, roofing, new front porch, new sidewalks, drywall. So that's construction. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so well. should wrap this up as far as the uh, broadcast is concerned or is there anything else you wanted to add not really i'm just you know <clears throat> pretty much describing what i've been doing lately and that's pretty much that i don't really have anything else to say yep me neither not on you know the topics and stuff that you know we've been discussing here so um i guess we can end it here uh thanks everybody for watching and you know sorry about uh the the glitches and you know this needing a part two and all that crazy stuff but you know it happens uh internet uh can be a very strange thing sometimes very strange indeed so you know believe nothing disbelieve nothing uh question everything and uh catch y'all later